Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Hi Mathematics. Today we have a very interesting Olympiad algebra question. x square minus x cube equal to 2 and we need to find our x. You can also write your solution down into the comment section real quick and in a few minutes we will check our answer. So it will be it will be really interesting. So how can we find our x? There are a lot of approaches. How can we do this? But I'm going to show you this one. First of all, let's write this 2 on the left side, of course, with the negative sign. So as a result, what do we have? x square minus x cube minus 2 is equal to 0. This is our first step. I really hope you, you understand it. We just write it on the, on the left side with the negative sign. Right now, if you look closely, this 2 we can write as, as 1 plus 1. Okay? Don't ask me why. You will see this uh, in uh, 30 seconds. This is extremely important trick. This 2 we can write as 1 plus 1. As a result, what do we have? We have x square minus x cube and minus, instead of this 2, I'm going to write this one. 1 plus 1 equal to equal to 0. Right now let's open our parentheses. As a result what do we have? x square minus x cube minus 1 and we have minus minus 1. And a lot of students are confused about this about this tricky move because they don't understand why I do this. And right now if you look closely we have a square and we have cube. And this one is extremely great constant for us because instead of 1 we can write one square. And instead of another one, for example, this one, we can write one cube. So instead of one, we can write one one cube. So instead of this one, let's write one square. Instead of this one, we're going to write one cube. In change nothing for us, because one to the doesn't matter what power, 100, 1000, we have all the time one. But in the same way, we can easily group this second power with this one and this third power with this. So as a result, what do we have? We have x square minus x cube minus 1 square. Instead of this one, we're going to write 1 square. Minus right here, we have 1, 1 cube, equal to 0. And right now, if we look closely, we have x square. And let's group this x square with this 1 square. And let's do the same thing with this x cube and with this, with this 1 cube. Let's do this right now. So as a result, what do we have? x square minus 1 square. Let's take it inside parentheses. So we group this both, both squares minus, and we have the second parenthesis, x cube, so we have minus x cube, but right here we will not have minus sign because we're talking about parentheses, so we need to write plus 1 cube, okay, plus 1 cube, because when we open it, we will have negative, and we need this negative right here, so equal to equal to 0. So we really hope you understand this step. This is a very tricky step, but right now we can easily we can easily write this as difference of squares, and this one as sum of two cubes. This is extremely important part, because then we can easily factor it. So so first of all, we need to remember, we need to learn about uh, this formula. We have difference of two squares, and from school we need to know the difference of two squares. We have x square minus y square equal to x plus y. So we have x plus y times x minus y. This is our first formula. We're going to apply this right here. Right now, let's learn, let's remember about this sum of two, uh, sum of two cubes. We have right here our formula, x cube plus y cube equal to x plus y. This is our formula, x plus y, times x square minus xy and plus y square. And right now let's apply this difference of squares right here and sum of two cubes. Let's apply it right here. Let's see what will happen. Let's do this right now. So first of all, difference of two squares. As a result, we have x plus 1, x minus 1. So we have x plus 1, x minus 1. And the second parenthesis we have minus, and right here we have different. Uh, we have a uh, sum of two, sum of two cubes. So as a result, we have um, the first of all. What do we have? We have uh, x minus one. We have uh, right here. What do we have? X plus one. So we have x plus one times x square minus x, x square minus x, and plus one equal to equal to zero. So I really hope you understand it. We just right here apply our difference of two squares. Right here we apply sum of two uh, sum of two cubes. Right now if you look closely we have x plus one and we have x plus one right here. So we can easily we can easily factor our x plus one. As a result we have x plus one and in another parentheses we will have this one x minus one from here so we have x minus 1 from here, minus this one, minus, but inside parentheses, don't forget about it. So x minus 1 from here, from this part, and from this part we're going to factor this x plus 1, so we still have this parentheses, x square minus x and plus 1 
equal to equal to zero. Okay, so right now let's simplify this a little bit. Let's simplify this expression inside inside parentheses. So we have x plus one right here. And in another parenthesis, what do we have? x minus 1, x minus 1, minus, and right here we need to change all of these signs. So we have x squared plus x and minus 1. Equal to, equal to 0. Really great. Let's simplify this a little bit. As a result, we have x plus 1, x plus 1. And in another parenthesis, what do we have? Minus x square on the first position, so we have minus x square. Then I think we have plus x plus x plus 2x, so plus 2x. And minus 1 minus 1 equal to minus minus 2 equal to 0. So as you can see, we factor our question right now. We have a product of two parentheses and a product of two parentheses equal to 0 when the first parenthesis equal to 0, so we have x plus 1 equal to 0, or we have the second parenthesis equal to 0 minus x square plus 2x and minus 2 equal to 0. For example, let's start with this one. Let's solve this uh, quadratic equation. First of all, let's multiply both sides by minus 1. Okay, let's multiply both sides by minus 1. As a result, we have x square minus 2x and plus 2 equal to 0. Let's solve this quadratic equation real quick and we will have our, our roots. Let's do this right now. We have our coefficients. We have a equal to 1 b equal to minus 2 and c equal to equal to 2. Let's find our discriminant real quick. Let's split this part. Let's find our discriminant equal to b square minus 4a for ac. So discriminant equal to we have b square so minus 2 square minus 4 times a times 1 and times c times 2 equal to we have 4 minus 4 times 2 equal to equal to 8. So our discriminant is negative, so we have minus 4. And as a result, it tells us that right here we have complex complex roots. So let's find these roots right now. First of all, we have x first. Uh, let's find it x first right here real quick. x first equal to minus 1, because right here we will have x second and, and third equal to. So this is our first, first root, x first equal to minus 1. And x second and third equal to minus b plus minus minus square root of discriminant and all over all over to a as a result we have minus b so we have minus minus 2 plus minus square root of discriminant equal to square root of minus 4 and all over to a 2 times 1 let's simplify this let's simplify this this expression okay let's do this so first of all minus minus 2 equal to 2 so we have 2 plus minus square root of uh, minus 4 equal to a square root of let's write it as minus 1 times 4 let's split it and we divide it by 2 because right now we're gonna split it so we have 2 plus minus square root of minus 1 and there's like a great uh, property yeah? square root of minus 1 times square root of 4 okay all over 2. Square root of minus 1 equal to i. This is our complex unit and square root of 4 equal to 2. So as a result we have 2 plus minus i times 2 and all over all over 2 and right now the trickiest moment we can easily divide uh, this by 2 so as a result we have 2 over 2 plus minus 2i over over 2 we can easily split this two uh, we can easily cancel this two and as a result we have 1 plus minus plus minus i this is our uh, two uh, two roots so let's write uh, right here our x second and third equal to 1 plus minus plus minus i okay and right now let's write our final answer and let's check our let's check our root first of all let's write our question from the beginning in the beginning we had x square minus x cube equal to equal to 2 okay here is our equation and right now let's write our final answer first of all we can easily check this x first equal to minus 1 let's check it let's check it as a result we have minus 1 square uh, minus one square minus minus one cube equal to equal to two. As a result, we have minus one square equal to one minus a minus one cube equal to minus one. Okay, minus one equal to two. And as a result, from here, this negative, both negative signs is positive. So we have one plus one equal to two. So our root is is great. Our root is absolutely absolutely correct. Our x first is is great for us. And right now let's write our final answer to this question. So our answer, our answer, 
x first equal to x first equal to minus 1. This is our real number root. x second, let's go with the positive sign, so 1 plus i. And x third equal to 1 minus i. And these roots are complex roots. Maybe you're interested in this. These roots are complex complex roots. This one is real number roots. This, this is my solution to the question. Right now we can see a graph, you can see a plot, you can see these points of intersection, which is extremely important, uh, which is extremely important for us. So you can easily see this, uh, see the solution from, from geometric perspective. Uh, I hope a lot of students can easily solve this question in a few seconds, but uh, don't forget about complex roots, because with this method, with this inspection method, because a lot of students arguing with each other, we can easily solve this question in a few seconds. But as you can see, there are a lot of really interesting stuff right here, a lot of interesting tricks, and then we can easily say that we solve this question absolutely correctly, because in terms of fundamental theorem of algebra, the highest power right here is the third one. So according to this uh, theorem, we are talking about three roots in total. We don't know how many real number roots, how many, how many complex roots, but we are talking about three roots in total. So right now you can easily see all of these roots. With this method, you can easily check this uh, one root, you can easily solve it, but no way you can easily find these uh, complex roots. This is impossible. So right now I want to suggest you to solve this question completely, to factory, to learn something new, to to exchange information with your teacher, to try to find a really interesting tricks, because this is a full solution to this question. This is inspection method. A lot of students solve this question like that. They say, okay, x equal to minus 1, and that's it. But as you can see, we have the complex root, which is extremely important root for us. So thank you for your time. Wish you all the best in your life. You can also write your notes, write your question down into the comment section. It will be really interesting to read about it. Thank you for your time. Wish you all the best. See you in the next videos.